Hey guys, what's going on? So I wanted to give another update on my marathon training. Um, as I mentioned in a previous video, um, I signed up for my very first marathon in April of 2024. Um, so I am training for that, even though um, I'm not necessarily following a strict program at this point because I'm a little too far out to begin your traditional 16 or 18 week marathon training programs. Um, I'm still in the process of building up a more base level of fitness, which is going well. Um, so I wrapped up my last week of training um, with a total of about 20 miles under my belt, which I thought was pretty good. Um, feeling good, my legs feel good. Um, and uh, my long run on Sunday was a little over five miles. Um, I did a lot of w walking during that that um, run, so I'm not full on like running, um, you know, full on for all, all my runs. I'm still incorporating a lot of walking just to keep my heart rate low because I think right now with my fitness levels, um, I, I still can't, necessarily run for an extended amount of time at a higher pace in, in order to keep my heart rate low. Um, so at this point, I'm still just focusing on building up my aerobic base, building up my fitness capacity. Um, but uh, I have also signed up for a 5K race on October 22nd, so that's a little less than a month from now. My goal here is to, um, one, have some reasons to build up my speed, but also mostly just to like have something to look forward to, something to structure um, my training a little bit, um, and also to just uh, give me some base level, you know, uh, times in order to know what are my race paces, because I still haven't really pushed myself yet at a race pace all out to see, you know, what are the best times that I'm capable of. Um, so I know I'm capable of running a 5k, but at this point, um, I don't really know what is like the fastest time I could get that done. Um, based on the runs that I have been going so far that are supposed to be my easy runs, even though they're not really you know, as easy as I would like them to be yet. Um, I would really love to get a 30 minute 5K, but that might be slightly ambitious, maybe like, you know, 35 minutes would be great. Um, so I don't know, like I mentioned before, I have a lot of cards stacked against me um, in order to um, run a marathon. You know, my cardiovascular, fitness is pretty poor right now, pretty low. Um, you know, I have a history of smoking. I you know, had a pulmonary embolism back in 2020, but, you know, I am bound and determined. One of the things that I think, you know, I do have going for me is like sheer force of will and determination. Um, I'm just like really focused on this goal. I, I've always wanted to be a long distance runner. I've always you know, wanted to get into running, you know, um, in the past many years ago, I have caught the running bug on uh, two separate occasions back in college. I, I read the book Born to Run and got super into barefoot running and I bought the Vibram five finger shoes and I used to do a bunch of barefoot running and, you know, then later on, um, in 2017, I caught the running bug again and I got into running and I started training for a marathon back then as well, but that never really went anywhere, mostly because when I was doing that, I identified as trans and I was on hormones and I didn't really want to be a trans female or a trans woman athlete competing in the female category. Um, so I just kind of like abandoned that whole thing because I didn't want to race in the female category. Um, but now that I'm detransitioned, I'm going to compete in the male category um, as a natal male. So I'm excited about that. I feel like I'm like at less of, you know, a disadvantage because my body once again is producing testosterone. Um, one thing I'm very curious about is I have a doctor's appointment on October 6th 
So uh, like a, two weeks from now, um, in order to test my testosterone levels again, um, last time I tested them, I had only been detransitioning off the hormones for like two months and my levels were a little under 300, um, where the, you know, normal range for males is like 300 to a thousand. So slightly below average. And I'm kind of curious, like what my levels are now after, you know, a few more months of detransition plus lots of exercise. And I've been focusing on like my sleep and nutrition. So I'm hoping my natural testosterone levels have gone up since then. Um, but I, I still feel like my, you know, uh, my um, f function is not fully restored. There's certain some, you know, aspects of my body that I, I know are not really necessarily back to fully f functional. And I don't know if they ever will be. So this is kind of like an experiment um, of detransition. There's not a lot of research um, out there or experiences of people who were on hormones for eight years and then got off them and then you know there's not a lot of knowledge about to what extent you know that natural testosterone production how much of it can go back and what is the levels that are expected after eight years of testosterone suppression so I'm very curious to see what my levels are um, but regardless, I'm still dedicated to this running thing. I really want to um, do it. I, I, I know it's kind of crazy to have, you know, these ambitious goals and I'm, you know, a little over the hill at this point. I'm 36, kind of out of shape and, you know, and I just have all these things stacked against me. But there's something in me. I have this, like, real competitive fire. Like, I have this, like burning fire in me to do something athletic of significance. Um, you know, I don't know what that is yet. Maybe it's to do with running, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just delusional here, but you know, regardless, I just get really inspired and motivated when I, you know, read these other stories of people doing these really, you know, um, crazy athletic feats, like running ultra marathons and doing all these different things. That just really like motivates me and fires me up and gets me passionate. And, you know, someday I want to do something equivalent to that. I don't know what that is at this point, but for, for now, I'm going to, you know, do my best to race my 5k. So I'm doing lots of easy runs, you know, trying to build up my mileage, just increase my aerobic base. Um, tomorrow I'm going to do my first interval or speed session, so I'm excited about that. I haven't really pushed myself in a speed session yet, so I'm excited to, you know, get my heart rate up and see what my true max heart rate is. I think that'll help me cal calibrate my heart rate zones a little bit better because I have a feeling, um, you know, what I have calibrated on my watch right now for my heart rate zones is not my true max heart rate because... I think it's a little higher than what I have you know, previously recorded on my watch. So I'm kind of curious um, what that's going to be during my interval session tomorrow. So hopefully that goes well. Um, and then, uh, yeah, otherwise I'm just trying to increase my weekly mileage, you know, slowly but steadily. Um, I, I'm doing, trying to focus on my recovery. I'm doing like yoga and stretching, you know, after my runs. Um, and uh, yeah, and then maybe I will sign up for a half marathon in January, um, just to kind of give me some idea of pacing and what what is the right time I should be targeting as my goal time um, for the marathon, even though, you know, <laughs> everyone says to like, for your first marathon, just don't even have a time. You should just make, um, you know, your goal to finish the race they say to respect the marathon it is a long distance running 26.2 miles is a significant feat um, just doing that alone is you know something to respect and 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 I I, I do believe that you know I, I do think that is you know as a significant accomplishment um, regardless of the pace that you run that in um, but I don't know, like, I, yeah, I have it, the goal to finish the marathon first and foremost, but I, I am a dreamer. I have these big 
goals and even if they're delusional or you know somewhat skewed from the reality of this situation I think I can train in, in a realistic way given my current limitations but at the same time you know I, I I'm a firm believer if you don't set yourself like ambitious goals then you will never like accomplish them so you know I I don't know what will happen but you know I just know that you know I'm going to do my best I'm going to train really hard I'm going to give it you know 110 percent of my energy in terms of this training plan I have 30 weeks to get ready for the marathon um, so very excited about all this um, just wanted to give a little bit of an update there um, yeah things are going well I think I'm making progress I think I'm getting you know a little bit in shape here and there I've seen my vo2 max score on my apple watch tick up bit by bit by bit since I started my running journey um, and uh, yeah I don't know just wanted to give an update um, so thanks